Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create the wheel for the train in Autodesk Inventor. We're going to do create a sketch. We're going to select our plane. Again, we're going to be using the revolve feature. Uh, this time, though, it's a little bit deceiving because we're not using necessarily the what you would, like half dimensions like you would think uh, because we're actually going to be revolving the wheel along the axis down here. And so it'll be a little bit different than, than a normal revolve. We need to start by drawing in our height. Our height is one inch. And we have a width of 0.25. Then we need to go down a distance of 0.25. We'll go in 0.125. Down 0.5. Over 0.125. Down to a quarter again. And then straight across. Now we can hit our home key and zoom in. We need to also do some filleting in here uh, to make these edges the way they're supposed to. And we also need to put in a circle right here with a diameter of 0.25. That gets us our full, uh, our full wheel height that we really need. Okay. Now we need to do some fillets. Okay, and it tells us our fillet is 0 0.0625 TYP. And what the TYP means is that means typical. So that means all of these fillets are going to be the same. They're typically that. Okay, so we have one there. We have one here. We have one here. And we have one here. Okay, and then we're done with that. We can hit finish. We're going to revolve. Select that. And this time we're going to use this this line as our axis. Revolve it around and there is the basic shape of the wheel. Okay. Now we're going to go onto the back side here. Create a sketch. We need to put in our holes. So we're going to start by drawing a circle. And it tells us our diameter for our circle, our radius is 0.625 so our diameter is 0.625 times 2. Then the inner circle, it tells us is 0.375 for a radius, so we need to do 0.375 times 2. Now we can start by drawing some lines. We need to draw in uh, four lines here that connect to these. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and do dimensions on these for angles. So we're going to do dimensions. This one to here. It tells us is a 15 degree. And from here to here is 30. And from here to here is 30. Okay. Now we can go in and we can trim all the dimensions that we, or all the lines that we don't need. And we're left with one outline there. Now we're going to hit finish, extrude, distance of, we're going to do all instead of distance. Now we're going to do circular Select our feature. We have to go into the, kind of an isometric view to, to be able to click it. And then our rotation axis. And there are six of them. So we can hit OK. And that puts in those holes for us. Now go back to the front of the wheel. We need to do a hole through the center. Do a point right on the center point there. Hit finish. Click hole. And it tells us it is a .280 through hole. So we're going to do through all .280. And there's that. Now we need to put in our peg. And go ahead and get that, uh, that in there where our uh, arm will attach. 
So we need to create a sketch on the front here. Now we're going to draw a circle. And it tells us our diameter for that is 0.25. Now we do need to dimension it just to make sure we're in the right spot. And if it gives you an error saying that it won't let you dimension it, just control Z out of it. Redraw your circle somewhere else. Again, this is one of those things where sometimes Inventor doesn't do exactly what you want it to. So we're going to do dimension. Now it'll let us do it. And it tells us that peg is 0.7 from our hole. And then we're going to do another circle on there. This time it is a diameter of 0.125 we're going to hit finish now we're going to extrude both of these to start with to a distance of 0.375 and we're going to share this sketch right click hit share sketch okay, and then we're going to extrude this distance of 0.375 plus 0.125 that puts our little knob there and we can create a sketch do a point we're going to put in a hole And it is a diameter of 0.0625 with a distance of 0.25. Hit OK. Then you can step back and check out your work. And that is the wheel. Go ahead and save it and you can move on to the next part.